Welcome to a new update. I apologize for my voice. I had a very bad cold in the last couple of days and uh, my voice is still not okay, but I'll try to do my best here. We are at the end <coughs> of a series of planetary conjunctions that occurred from the 19th to the 22nd. Today there are two more conjunctions. That is uh, Sun, Venus, Neptune and also Earth, Venus, Saturn. That's pretty much a convergence of two planetary conjunctions. We could see a seismic increase at the next lunar peak, following the next lunar peak. That will be <coughs> from uh, uh, around on the 23rd, it will be tomorrow. And around the 24th, that could be the time of a seismic increase. As you can see on the SSGI graph, I, I mark two earthquakes, two strong earthquakes that occurred later on the 20th, or early on in the sequence of planetary conjunctions. And one occurred, 6.2, in the Guadeloupe region, the Leeward Islands region, and the other deep below Argentina, and the uh, Santiago del Estero in Argentina, about 600 kilometers deep. It is pretty off the fluctuation that I showed you in previous updates, and maybe because of the depth, that is the reason why it was a bit off, because I included the possibility of um, Ecuador and Chile, southern Chile, but not really uh, Argentina. Uh, but it was very deep, so maybe that's the reason why. So here we have the SSGI graph, and we see the strong earthquakes early on, and we see the critical planetary geometry being followed by the critical lunar geometry. So tomorrow, a lunar peak, which means that 23rd, 24th could become critical, and we could see a major seismic event. The atmospheric fluctuation that would match the 24th, that occurred on the 18th and that marked the region of Asia from Lake Baikal in the north down to um, <coughs> sorry, the, uh, the Indian Ocean. You can look up the previous updates for a detailed analysis of that fluctuation. <coughs> but the fluctuations over the East Pacific, they continue. Actually, we picked up another one yesterday and um, that would include the possibility up until the 26th, 27th for stronger seismic activity. Um, possibly Central America, again a bit to the north, as you can see here it's actually over Southern California and then down to the Pacific Antarctic Ridge. It's difficult to say anything about this. Um, in the coming days I'd say in Asia that could be a possibility, but also over the East Pacific marking the Central America um, and further to the north as I also explained in previous forecasts. Um, I no longer exclude the possibility for Southern uh, for, for South America, because we've seen a deep quake in Argentina, so um, apart from southern Chile, Ecuador, possibly Chile, Peru could also be uh, next. Not sure. The fluctuations indicate really uh, these parts over the East Pacific, uh, primarily around Central America, as I um, showed you in recent updates, uh, and also to the north. And now we have a fluctuation that goes over Southern California. I'm not sure how much this is worth. These are the fluctuations that we pick up. They do not necessarily result in larger seismic activity, but going by the planetary geometry and the lunar peak on the 23rd, 23rd, 24th is more critical and these fluctuations can definitely be an indicator of where the next larger seismic activity will occur. So this is the update for now. Uh, I have to wait and see what's going to happen on the 23rd, 24th in the next two days. Um, before we go into uh, the next lunar peak around the 26th, because that is the second lunar peak relative to the critical planetary geometry that we have from 19th to 22nd. And um, there can be increased seismic activity around the 26th, 27th as well. And in this respect, like I said, the fluctuation on the 21st yesterday over Southern California down to the uh, Pacific Antarctic Ridge, that could be an indicator for uh, increased seismic activity around that time, 26, 27 uh, January. But that's really speculation at this point. So first, we're going to wait and see what happens on 23rd, 24th, following the critical planetary geometry and at or just after the lunar peak. Until next time. <laughs>